Guys, this is an in-depth tour of the all-new 2021 Kia Sorento GT Line all-wheel drive. Towards the front, you've got full LED headlights, as you can see. You can also see you've got some really nice painted black trim inside the headlight there. you also got this really nice textured sort of metal finish surrounding each individual LED bulb, which is a little nice detail. I'll try and zoom in, get up close, and you can have a, a look. Looks, it looks really, really cool. So here's the front end of the new Sorento. Got four parking sensors integrated into the front bumper there as well. Got some nice kind of black trim on the grill there. Here's a little nice finish and you can see you got this nice metal saw finish that goes all the way through the front. Sorry if my voice keeps changing, it's because like, I've got wearing a mask, so it's a little bit hard to hear. The fuel consumption of this car is 6.1 litres per 100 kilometres. Urban 7.4, extra urban 5.3. Kia Sorento 2.2 diesel, in case you're wondering. DCT. So. You got LED indicators mounted onto the... Sorry, you got... You got your indicators mounted onto the side of your mirrors. Now this helps um, improve visibility, especially when you're changing lanes, making you more safer, especially when you're driving. Making it more safer for you when you're driving. Approaching. You also can see you've got cameras underneath as well. So surround view cameras, which are really useful, especially when you're parking, so avoid you from scraping your car or your wheels and whatnot, so it makes it so much easier when parking show your wheels so here's your wheels so you've got continental premium contact six tires so the tire size they are a 20 inch tire it's a soft compound most continentals are soft compounds so they give you more grip and stuff like that but they do wear out faster because it's a softer compound opposed to more of those harder sort of style tires see the wheels are have really nice finish as well Kill Century. So here's the rear of the Kia Sorento. So you get Kia's famous seven year warranty, which is really useful. Especially when things go wrong and stuff like that. Gives you a little bit of peace of mind. Third braking light. See, GT line. All drive. See four parking sensors integrated to the rear bumper. Also you've got your full size spare tire as well. Full LED tail lights, also very nice. While I'm here I'll show you the um, key fobs. The key fobs actually pretty cool so it's not just it's not just your stand unlock and lock but you also got these little two buttons here as well. So what they do if you in case you're wondering is if you're in like a tight parking spot, let's say you're something like that and you want to get out and then you, you can't, you know, there's not enough space. So what you could do is you can actually hold the button and it'll allow the car to inch itself forward or inch itself out of the parking slot, which is actually really useful. And that's great if you want to get to your car. And you're probably wondering what if it bumps into something? Well, that's actually quite smart because it's got sensors and cameras and all that. It actually can detect moving obstacles. So if the car or person just happens to jump in front, it will stop. So it's actually quite smart. And if you want to stop it, so you just hold it and it'll just, you hold it to keep it going and you let go if you want to stop. So, pretty cool stuff. So, so the keys are a little bit different. So, I'll just pop with that. So, I actually thought the handle was here, but it turns out it's actually underneath here. Power tailgate, in case you're wondering. Seven seats, really cool. I'm going to leave these up instead of folding them down because I'm going to actually, maybe Miles is just do it just to show you the room. So, let's. So you can see it's nice and flat, so seven seater. Got a little bit of storage here, a little bit hard to see. And your tool kit there. And you got these really big cup holders. So I did fit a drink here, I'll show you a little bit later. And you also you got some more vent vents for your own 
control so you can have your own rear AC and you can see it's actually got a nice textured finish. You also got a little bit of holder here, not for drinks, but maybe to hold like a book or an iPad or something like that. And you just pull it and it locks in place. Same with the other side, pull it, locks in place. And um, I'm five foot five, I can fit in here and I'll show you a little demo on that in just a bit. So I'll just press this. Nicely close. It's actually a really cool movie that pops up as soon as you close the door. I'll show you that in just a minute. So hopefully you can get a good look at it. For that, I'll show you the interior. It's really nice. So full LCD display. So when I close the door, you're gonna see a movie that's gonna play. A really cool one. Pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah. So I'll just turn this on. So if I just click the key fob, I press it twice. It's gonna so I'll make a sound for a little bit. Confirm. Okay. So full LCD display. So many benefits here. So the main benefit is it has the ability to change. So you can have your map data, you can have your radio station, you can have anything there, and it's actually really good because then. It avoids you from looking away the screen if you want to see which way you're going and stuff like that. So it doesn't just act as a safety feature, but it's also quite functional as well. So you can see that towards the left, you've got your speedometer, your temperature gauge, um, you've, and towards the right, you've got your rev counter and your fuel gauge. I mean, sorry, you got your fuel gauge towards the bottom over there, and the bottom there, you can see you got your temperature gauge and your rev counter. Ugh. Getting my tongue twisted. And then you got some more space in the center that shows all your other sorts of information. So I think so if I press one of this one here, you can see through all those extra things over there. Your adaptive cruise, your how much you are from another car when you're doing, you can set the distance, which is actually pretty cool and stuff like that. So I'll just turn this off for now. So you got leather, leather wrap steering wheel, really nice. You can see it's also got this really nice gray stitching all the way here. Really, really nice. Or bolstering as well. You got some your power shifters minus plus. Also, it all feels very nice as well. You can see your switches feel really well made too. You can see they also have a bit of this sort of textured finish. Feels really good. All the controls feel really well made. So you've got lane keeping assist. So if you veer off your where lane, the car will direct itself back into its lane. So let's say you doze off or something like that. So it's a really good safety feature. Adaptive cruise control. So you can set a distance away from another car. As you're driving the freeway so if it slows down it'll slow down and it'll still maintain a safe gap so another really cool feature the indicator stalks are really cool too if you look here you've got your wipe controls over here and towards the right you've got your a little bit hard to see your headlight and indicator controls here too and you can see they have some really nice feedback so pretty cool stuff but yeah interesting design see it's all the way it's shaped really nice while we're here we'll show you the other secondary big screen so i'll just turn it on so you got the Bose sound system, let's see if we can lower the brightness down. Sorry about the blinking, but I mean the sound. So you've got these touch sensitive buttons, so let's go to the radio. I'm going to just do a little radio test, I'll show you. So Bose sound system, so the reason why I'm doing that up and down the volume, well it's copyright, so. That's funny how it goes. quite clear. DAB digital radio, so pretty cool. So if we can if we click it's got it's all powered by Android so you can see with you can tell with the um the controls there. And I believe you can swipe it and that's all your controls. So you can see it's actually quite responsive even though even the effects are really nice as well. So if I click map you can see that's the little discharge oh, yeah, well, yeah. so you can see it's actually quite responsive. And all that. We'll, we'll do a video. The route guidance will start now. Oops, what I do there for. Anyway, you got the idea. So you can see touch all buttons. You got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Oops, what I do there. Anyway, you got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Also standard, which is pretty cool. Yeah, very cool stuff and additional 
stuff there as well. So while we're here, I'll show you the air conditioning controls, the climb control. So the highest temperature is 27 and the lowest temperature is, I think, 18. Most of it's about 18, you wouldn't get. It. Oh, okay. Seven, 17 degrees. Toss into the buttons, you can see. Recycling, AC, rear. And even if you look at the buttons as well, you can see they also have this sort of nice little feedback as well. I know I seem to press everything and that's just, again, for you guys just to see. Even the vents feel really nice, they have some nice resistance towards it. They feel really, really well, well made. Even on this side as well. So soft touch here, you can see, all soft touch. We've got that sort of texture finish here. Even over here, it's all nice as well. Even the switches here feel really well made and all that. Your storage is also pretty good too. So you can see, this is a 750 mil bottle. I've put it in nice and snug there. Also fits here nicely as well. Here and here, so pretty good stuff. A bit of squeeze there. Um, storage here, you can see it's quite good. Again, it's more of that textured finish. So, we'll press this. You've got two fast charging ports, USB and QI. So, QI is um, um, the what you call it, wireless charging, and it's also textured too, so your phone doesn't rumble around and all that so you can charge your phone wirelessly very handy especially in this day and age where most phones have wireless charging um we've got these really cool switches here for the heated suites which is actually really nice i quite like that and um you can see also your gear shift it also looks really really cool and it's also got the sorrento logo embossed there all your different driving terrain modes so you've got snow mud sand smart which i have no do no idea what that does sport eco and comfort and yeah, and you can see even even all the switches, they actually have this sort of nice textured finish there, which is actually all nice detail. Really, really cool. Surround view cameras. Um, you can heat up the steering wheel, hill descent control, and electronic high parking brake and auto hold, which is great for when you're, let's say at the lights, you want to put your foot on the brake, you press that button, it'll hold the car in place without you having to engage the brake or put it in, or, or put it into park and stuff. So pretty cool if you're left stationary for long periods of time got your seats here which are also really nice also perforate so what that does helps the seat breathe better so it allows it to be cool and doesn't get too hot especially in summer especially being black it helps a lot in that sort of situation you can see the nice white piping and the silver stitching here and you can also see how nice it is here even this sort of diamond looking pattern as well you have your own whoop, key you've dropped out you have your own controls here, so you can slide the seat forward and back, which is great for the rear passengers if they want more legroom. Which is also cool. You can see your vinyl armrest with some grey stitching here. If I lift this up, you've got some storage with no USB ports. Oops. Oh, I put that one back. I don't know why I did that. Um, I think because... So you can see also a lot of pen and black trim which also looks really nice but again a little bit of a fingerprint magnet but is what it is got your illumination got your sun visor here another one here and you've got a really large sunroof or is it what you call in america moonroof really really cool stuff all your additional controls Powered seats, so you can slide them forward. This part as well. You can adjust your lumbar support, which is great if you want more support. And this one, I believe, adjusts this part, so lower thigh support. You can see, you can do that sort of thing too. So the seats actually slide back, so you can, it makes it easy to get in and out of the vehicle. Also, a really nice feature. I'm gonna leave this door open because it actually has. It's a little bit weird. Oh, sorry, I think I locked the door. Um, it's a little bit weird. Let's close that one. So, because what happens is it's got a child lock, but I don't know how to turn it off. There's a little um, thing there. I don't know what it does. So anyway, it is what it is. So you can see you got these separate cup holders. So you got ones there, which is great. Got another one here, which is also really good. And if I lift this one up here, down, sorry, you can also fit 
one, two. Really great stuff. So Kia's really thought about all that. You also got some sunshades. You can easily turn the block. Guess the sun, the car, also privacy, which is also cool. It's all soft touch here too, which is also nice. The same textured finish that you get on the front. You can see all soft touch here as well. And some more of that stitching as well. And a little bit of some rubber accents here. And some more painted black trim. The seat's also the same. So you can see you've got the same white piping. You can see it's all perforated too. Also really nice. And yeah, pretty handy. Got four isofix points there. If you want to mount a small child seat. And I'm on the floor there too. So very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. I'm gonna leave this seat open. I'm gonna press this down, this button. This allows the seat to slide forward. So I'm gonna actually leave this open because it has a child lock and I won't be able to get out. So so I'm pretty short, I'm five foot five, really short. And the seat's quite low, but you can see for someone my height, I can fit here comfortably. So look at that. So yeah, it's great. So obviously you st I still got about that much, I know what that is. But yeah, you can see, it's actually quite good. All right, Crossley, we want to see how much storage this has. I'll just let, this, let them do that so they can get out. So you just everyone wants to know how much storage, and you can see, just the bottle there, nice and good. So it's great. I hope they don't close up. So you got your own AC vents. I think I mentioned that also with the same texture style finish. You got 180 watt slash 12 watt power outlet. Some storage here to put maybe a smartphone or your iPad, something like that. So yeah, pretty cool. And you've also got some more hooks and stuff like that. Also you can see the seats also have iPhone 6 points which I mentioned. You can see the same perforated seats hot cooling. Really good visibility in the rear. A little bit of a blind spot there but you do have a window there and you've got blind spot monitoring system so I guess that cancels that bit out. But yeah, so if I could fit there anyone under 5 foot 5, be great. But yeah, it is a little bit low for some of my height because it's, of course, designed for children. And I just have to pull this seat. I need to go back. I'm gonna let you do that. There you go. There you go. I hope they don't close up. Anyway, so you got your own vents, which is really good. Same style as the front. You got 180 watt slash 12 volt. Power outlet, fast charging port, two additional ones on the sides, which is very, very handy. Um, yeah. So, you got some nets here, also really cool. You've got a pretty flat transmission tunnel. And I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seat. I'm really impressed with the new Sorento. It's actually really, it, it looks so amazing and you just have to see it in person so really really impressed with this car do that sorry okay let's show you the engine diesel engine i think we did mention about that so So here is the engine of the new Sorento. So obviously this is the you know, cover. Got a battery here and that could be a secondary battery. I'm not too sure about that. So if you do know, let me know. So dot for your brake fluid, coolant, wiper fluid. So these are made in Korea, in case you're wondering. Um yeah. So that's my little walk around of the all new Kia Sorento. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry for mistaking the video because I was a little bit nervous and haven't done this in a little while. This car is for sale. I'll leave the link in the description below if you're interested in contacting me to purchase the car or get more information. And I have a little email there. So hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.